going on everybody welcome back to another episode of a truck driver plays american truck simulator so guys what's going on how y'all doing out there you know what now although i've been really you know although episodes have been released on my channel just about every week i feel like it's been a long time because as you know most of the time i do pre-record the episodes you know once i get in my zone and i'm playing i just go ahead and just go for it so anyway guys i think we are picking off uh, mm, I said that wrong. Hold on. Let me retry that again. I think we are picking up here in Montrose, Colorado, where we left off the last episode that was posted. And we're going to be running a load of frozen vegetables up to Rock Springs, Wyoming. Yeah, that's right. And the only reason I say I think is because, uh, well, like I said, I pre-recorded the episode. So when I started the game up, this is where I was at. So I'm, I'm guessing this is where I was at because I haven't played in a couple of days. So, so yeah, anyway, guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get going. As you can see, I'm still enjoying the Ford LT and I'm still doing the Walmart load. So now that we're all caught up, let's go ahead and uh, let's hop in. Oh, the truck was already running, oops. Let's go ahead and fire. That's all right. We just fire back up. Up, oh, wrong thing. I need my mirrors back up here. And the track R is coming soon, so I can at least take the mirrors down. And I don't think I'm going to need the GPS. Let's, uh, let's try it. I think I'm going to try it without the GPS, but I need to get fuel first. So let's go ahead and let's see where we're going to get fuel. Let's do some trip management here. Let's see where we are going. Let me see. Fuel, fuel, fuel. And it looks like it's some um, like right up here. There's a truck stop right there. So we'll stop there and get some fuel. So let's go ahead and get on the road before we run out of fuel. And I know it was snowing the last episode, but you know what? We got a clear day. Okay. Yeah, we'll just put it like that. We got a clear day. Am I? Where am I? Oh, that's Costco over there. Okay, I thought I, <laughs> I was confused for a minute. Like, wait a minute, what am I doing? You must can't access that Costco because it's not on the map. Let's turn them off. They're getting on my nerves. They're extremely loud. The flashes are. Let's go ahead and turn them off. I need to adjust my microphone. There we go. I hope everybody can hear me. It's time for a new microphone. So I'm going to upgrade all this stuff soon. I want to get a headset microphone. But this one I got, I bought it from Wish, off of Wish.com, and it's it's pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. I mean, it wasn't like a super, super expensive microphone. The only thing really I had to, like this microphone, it came with like a piece where your headset plugs into it and it plugs into the computer. Now, I did have to get a new piece. I forgot what the piece is called, but I did have to get another one. So that was the only thing really wrong with the microphone. Um, Cause I think some of my earlier episodes that I posted, like, I guess it was two years ago, uh, a year and a half ago, somewhere like it. I think I used that piece and uh, like, I don't know it didn't sound right using that piece because you have to have that piece to really get a clean recording and like I said it came with the microphone it didn't sound right so I paid a little bit more money for it I wish I knew the name of it right now I just can't think of it Got a 
a few cars trying to pull out in front of me. That little Jeep, he just, his in front of his car, just all out in the middle of the road. Alright, traffic is backed up. What time is it? It's like 10.53. Okay. So looks like we get some daylight today. You know, I mean, driving at night is okay. Like, back in the day, that's all I used to like to do. I used to run at night, but Although I don't like getting up early, you know, it's it's cool to change it up a little bit, run during the day. Like, I have no problem running during the day. Just as long as it ain't me getting up at 5 a.m. Or having to be at work at 5 a.m. I'm cool otherwise. Like, let's say if I got to be at work at 10 a.m., that's, that's a pretty good time right there. And I can get most of my trip done during the day. And depends on where I'm going, like, I can maybe get off at like six or seven. So that's not, that's not really bad. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to switch up. You know, in my real job, maybe do some day stuff, you know. Can we make it? Can we make it? Oh, we crossed the line. We over the line. That's it. As long as you over that line before the, before the red light hit, you good. All right, so where is this store at? It should be coming up right up here somewhere. Look like, oh, I gotta go through that intersection. Okay. Grand Jet. All right, I didn't realize I was that deep in town. going on over there all right I see the fuel pumps so. we need some fuel yeah we need some fuel pretty bad so do I turn in right there is that where I turn in at it don't matter that's where we're gonna turn it but So, I'm guessing, I don't see the thing though. That's the whole thing, like. Ain't it supposed to have like a green thing above the gas tanks? And it said it's fuel. Oh, I did, okay. That's where the car's fuel at. Okay. Duh, I seen that torch sitting there. I should have put that together, but, okay. And, and ain't no problem. All right, so let's go ahead and fuel up. Yeah, I didn't get out. This is full service right here. Damn, $608? Damn. I guess that's about right, though. I just, I don't know. I always cringe when I see that. Like, damn. All right, so let me, this is one of them little tiny rinky-dink gas stations. Can we get out this way? Or do we got to go back around? 
You know what? I think we gotta go back around. Well, oh, maybe we can get out this way. If not, we got plenty of room to back up and go. Wait a minute. Let's keep straight. I don't know why I thought that was a wall right there. Okay, I'm tripping right now. Traffic is pretty heavy here. A line of trucks. Mm, I knew better than that. I knew I should have took a wider turn. Look, I'm all up on the sidewalk. So let's see, we got six hours and 17 minutes before we get up there. Which is cool because we should have had a time because our little bed down there on the GPS, it's like a little bit blue it's not much blue but let's see I want to take the GPS off there we go we'll use the one on the windshield I can still see it a little bit I just wish I knew how to get that brighter. But maybe because it's daytime, because at night it's usually brighter than that. I think I'm running like 60, so we good right now. Is my window down? Yeah, my window is down now a little bit. Okay. And I knew a stoplight was coming up here. Let's get going good. And I should be in the right lane here. From what I can see on the GPS here, I'm, I'm kind of squinting to look at it because look how dull it is. I mean, it's, it's you know, it's, it's really dark. Like, I can't really see it. So I just want to make sure I'm turning off in the right way. see here I'm gonna make sure I turn in the right so I guess I turn here cuz you can't go that way see the X is up there so. Oh, 
Alright, hold on, let me see something here. Alright, so. Scrape that one. That log truck is moving right now. There we go, all right. All right, this is this. Uh, Y'all know I hate going through town. I really do. I, uh, on the game in real life, I'd rather stick to the interstate. But there are no stoplights and intersections. Cause the light just, it seems like it just takes so long to change. There we go. front of him. I thought he was, oh, he turning. I thought he was coming up beside me. That truck in the rear view. Let's see, Denver, I don't think we're going toward Denver. We're going toward Utah, so that's, and I hate these intersections right here. Like, why would you do this? Why would you make the intersection like this right here? I, I never understood that. Like, I hate these type of intersections. I just don't understand why you would do that. Look, it just threw me all off. Yeah, those weird intersections, man, I can't stand them. Like, why would you do that? Just stick to the basics. Up on 70 here. Frutilla? Is that what they said? Frutilla? Did I say that right? Seventy five. We're going to do every bit of that. Well, don't get me wrong, playing this game is cool, but the only thing is missing is my music, man. I got to have my music. That policeman is moving right now. He must have got a 911 call because he is rolling. He turned his lights on. Oh, a loan installment. I can't really say. Wasn't doing nothing to get a ticket. I ain't even up to speed yet. see here look like that's about it
some pretty scenery out there though did that car just flash his lights at me I might have been seeing things I swear he just flashed his lights at me when he went by I think I'm gonna get a screenshot somewhere up through here. Cause most of the time if I can't like get a good screenshot, what I do is I grab a screenshot from a different episode that I took that I didn't use. So that's how I do it. Alright, yeah, that's how I do it. Most of the time I get like screenshots of other, what I like. Like I said, if I can't use it for like a certain episode, I might use it for a different episode. So screenshots y'all see might not be for that particular episode. Like I think the last episode I used a screenshot from Chicago. See, he flashes lights at me too. That fire truck did. Yo, is my light on? He did too. Okay. I was wondering, is my lights on? Wow, this is a jagged road. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of um, when I first started uh, driving a truck and I drove for this uh, auto parts company. And like I had a set route, you know, I went to Charlotte every day. And, you know, I hit Charlotte, Thomasville, then I come back down through Danbury up Route 8 through those back mountains I mean of course this road is worse than that but I was like training a backup driver on the uh, on my run and we hit that back road that I normally hit to get over to Danbury and me since I had been doing it for so long you know I hit that back road and I was rolling. I was running like 55 and 60. I was going from lane to lane, you know, that race car driving around them curves and stuff like that. I remember he said, hey, 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 let's slow down. <laughs> like, I think of that. I still laugh because he was serious about that. He was like, hey, 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 let's slow down. <laughs> I'm like, dude, come on, man. I do this every night. You know, I mean, I wasn't driving a tractor trailer, though. This, to be to be fair, I was driving a uh, a ten wheeler box truck. So no, I wasn't doing that on a tractor trailer. I wasn't going down curvy roads from lane to lane. It was in a box truck. But I, but I won't. I never forget that he was like, "Hey, hey, hey, let's slow down." But you know, I looked at that as a rite of passage because when I was the backup driver, and the driver took, you know, that did that did that run, when he had it, he took me through them back roads. He was rolling. Whoa. 
Yeah, he's the one that showed me how to do the lane to lane. You know, he said, because it was nighttime by the time I got to Danbury anyway, he's, he was like, this is how you make sure there ain't no car coming. You want to look at the trees in front of the curve. If you don't see no lights, keep getting it. If you see lights, slow down. But if you're from that area and you run Route 8 all the time, then you know what I'm talking about. Because I picked up Route 8 in Winston-Salem. And I'd head up to Danbury. Because what we would do is how we would deliver the auto parts is we had keys to all the stores. So, you know, we get there, we just unlock the door and just set the parts inside the door or wherever they wanted, you know, wanted us to set them. And, uh, you know, some of them spots were sketchy. You know, you out there in the middle of the night by yourself in some, in some places away from civilization, you know, it just, it just got a little dicey. Sometimes you get there, had a store, they have a store sitting in the middle of the woods and you know, the outside light is broken. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. That wasn't cool. But the funny thing is though, although at that time when I was training him, that was my set run I still had to go do, I still had to act as a backup driver because there was another run, uh, we called it the Northeast Run. And nobody else knew it but me. So so pretty much how they would do it, they'd just swip us, swap us around, you know, I'd go. In which that run, like most of the other runs, you had to meet another truck or you had to meet other trucks. The Northeast run, you know, I went in like at 8 o'clock. Because my Charlotte run, I went in at like 1 o'clock in the evening. Because I had to go to the Charlotte warehouse to meet all the mother trucks. To make sure that the parts was on those trucks going out. But the Northeast run, I ain't have to meet nobody. It was just straight delivery. And it left out about 8 o'clock at night. And I'd leave Roanoke. Uh... Let's see, I, I, I don't know if I've told y'all that before, but I'd leave Roanoke and the first stop was Westlake, Virginia, down in Hardy, Virginia. At, uh, I think it was called Brownies, Brownies Auto Parts. and hard, It was like an auto parts and hardware store. I delivered there first and then I'd leave there. I'd get on, I'd run all the way up and hit 460. And I think the next stop was Lynchburg. I had three stops in Lynchburg. Uh, sometimes VDOT would order stuff, so I had to deliver at VDOT. Then there was Barker Jennings, and then CLC Machine Shop right there in downtown Lynchburg. Then as I leave there, I just keep going through downtown. I think it was Get On 29 Business through Madison Heights and get on 29 and run that all the way to because the next stop from there I know it used to be Charlottesville but Charlottesville turned into a federated auto part so we didn't deliver there so I didn't go to Charlottesville I bypassed that and get, go all the way to I think it was Troy, Virginia to uh, what was it? it was called All Star Auto Parts that's what it was called brownies no wasn't brownies it was all star i don't know why i got brownies but right there in troy virginia and i remember when i got there it was always nighttime it was one of them stores that was just like in the middle of nowhere and i remember i had to pull through the parking lot get out open up a gate to get behind the store because he had a, like a little junkyard back here and i had to get you know, pull back behind that to deliver his parts. And, you know, although I did, you know, I was kind of raised in the country still, though, it, it, 
you know, in the middle of the night, and there ain't nothing but woods around, you know, forests and stuff around, you know, it's dark, I can't see past the parking lot. What are they doing? I'm trying to talk here. Dude, come on. Am I out in the middle of the road? But yeah, you know, I, mean, I wouldn't say I was scared, but, you know, I didn't know what was going to come rolling out of them woods. You know, bear anything could have came out of there. That's what I was most worried about. So I would leave there, and I think, I'm trying to think, whoop. But I would leave there and I would go to Mineral, Virginia and drop off. Then I'd leave Mineral and hit 522 and hit Culpeper because we had two stops in Culpeper. And then I'd leave Culpeper and go to Warrington, which Warrington was the last stop. Then I remember I would, instead of going back down 29 and all that stuff, for some reason I just always thought it was faster just to cut across, get back on 81. That way I could just push it all the way to the floor and just keep getting it. I remember one morning, I was close to being back, but the sun had started to come up. And for some reason, when the, whenever I seen that sun rise, that's when I got sleepy when I do the, and, and I'm still like that. And a bird hit the windshield. Pack up. Now, at the time, my window was down a little bit because I was getting some fresh air because I was a little sleepy. Bird hit the windshield. Pack up. Not only did he hit the windshield, but the the it actually ended up sucking him inside where I was at. I felt him hit my arm. So I'm sitting there like, oh no we can't nah we can't have this because i'm thinking it just knocked him out and he gonna get up and start flapping and stuff so i pulled off to the side of the road man i looked all over that truck for that bird i looked i looked i said that was i hallucinating because i am sleepy but i know i hit the bird and because and i know he came inside the truck where i was at because i felt him hit my arm I looked, I looked, I could not find him. So I was like, well, maybe it didn't, right? As I was climbing back up into the truck, the bird was stuck in between, because uh, I had my armrest up, I didn't have it down. He was stuck in between the armrest and the seat. I was like, well, damn, he was right there, right up, right up under my eyes. And he was dead. I mean, he hit the windshield. I was running like 75, so he, yeah, he was gone. So I scooped him out of there and I got going. I was like, let me hurry up and get back. I was close to back, being back to Roanoke, I think. I think I want to say I was coming through Botetourt County. But my thing was, I didn't want it to just knock him out and then as I'm driving down the road, he comes to and starts flapping and panicking and stuff. See, that, that wouldn't have been good, so. But I did, I drove for them for a while. Until another, to a bigger auto parts company bought them out. And they started making cuts and changes and then I had to go back to the dock. So that's when I was like, you know what? I think I'm done here want to work no dock it wouldn't have been bad if they hadn't took away my pay because I think driving there I was on like a salary you know I was like it was like $15 for like 8 hours and that's what I made every night whether if I was there or not because it was salary but yeah that's that was just the end of that right there I was like nah this ain't gonna work So I pretty much left there and that's when I went over to Swift to their truck driving school to get my class A because I had my class B.
But yeah, that but you know that was a pretty good job. I mean, that was just one of them jobs where if. You didn't drive the truck or I'm trying to th- or like one of the big people like president or something. You ain't make no money because my uncle was the warehouse manager and me being a driver, I brought home just as much money as he did. So that tells you how cheap they were. Right there. So. So I want, yeah. So I guess if you were in a truck driver in management, you really didn't make no money. Cause I remember them guys in Charlotte at the Charlotte warehouse. You know, they told me it was making eight dollars an hour. I'm like eight dollars an hour in Charlotte? I'm thinking, how are y'all making it? I'm making eight dollars an hour here in Charlotte. But like I said, they they moved me back to the dock, which would have been cool if I could have kept my pay. Because working a dock, I would have got overtime. You feel what I'm saying? But nah, they didn't want to do that. They take my pay away. So I'm like, yeah, I got. It's time for me to go too. Then I ain't doing all that. Plus, the management had changed around, and I think my uncle he had been gone by the time it got to that point. Yeah, he had been quit to start his own business, so. So I was like, yeah, it's, it's, it's time to go then, because I can't, you know, and I didn't like, really like the supervisors and, you know, the oper- operations manager. Uh oh, am I late? They said they expect delivery really soon. I got I'm like an hour away. I'm like two hours away. I could get there if these trucks would stop slowing along. But you know, we we did forget to look at the window to see what the window was on this run. We slowing all the way down here. New viewpoint discovered. I do like the detail in this scenery, though. All right, so we got to kind of push the gas a little bit here, I guess. Oh man, I got a speeding ticket. Our customer expects delivery soon. Man, get out of here with that. I'll get there when I get there. I still got an hour and a half, pretty much, to get there. Oh, and now we're sleepy. Sun is bright.
go, steady yawning. Oh, and we hitting brakes going uphill. That's that's always good. Hitting brakes going uphill. I mean, come on, y'all. That tanker was rolling coming down that mountain. I don't think we're going to make it on time because I'm behind like a line of cars right now. Lights on. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, them things are bright. There we go. All right, the lights on here is too bright. Like I can't even see the road right now. <laughs> it's a pretty sunset though. Oh, that's right. On this truck, the lights are even out as it gets darker they are a little bright because this right here is high beam yes I hear you yawning we're gonna get there See how the lights evened out as it got darker. See, I got 20, it says I got 20 minutes. They're right off of Interstate 80. Up, up, oh, whoa. Oh, never mind. I got to turn off anyway, don't I? You are getting tired. I yes, we know. You have to keep reminding me. Oh, man. All right, child, let's go here. Springs. I wonder if I'm late or not. I wonder how late I am if I'm late.
Yeah, okay, here we go. There we go, all right. There we go, finally made it. Where do you need it? That seems fairly easy. All right, so they'll take it right there. Let's go ahead and shut everything down. All right, y'all. So that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. You guys have a good day.